hi guys i want to talk to you guys today about something that i spoke to god about yesterday um you know it was brought to my attention you know a lot of us we know listen yesterday god literally said they don't deserve you okay and the conversation i have with god relating to that is people are very aware of what they do people are aware let me give let me start off with family okay for some of you guys, there's people that know you're a blessing. They know you're a blessing. They know that God has anointed you. They know that you are chosen. They know you're a special person. They see your heart. They see your characteristics. They know what type of person you are, yet they still choose to hurt you. They still choose to sabotage you, right? And most of the times as human beings, we tend to, as good-hearted human beings, we tend to make excuses for people and that has to stop that has to stop you have to understand something that loyalty is priceless loyalty is priceless and when you're a good person right and you have good people around you you should be doing everything in your power to show your appreciation to show gratitude because we live in a very cold world and, and society is cold today, okay? There's a lot of people who are evil, cold, bitter, jealous, and it's hard to come across genuine, good-hearted people. And, and here's the thing. I hear that saying a lot, hurt people, hurt people. Yes, that's true. But to a certain point, to a certain point, because where does it stop? You get what I'm saying? To a certain point, because it's like, if someone hurts someone because they've been through something, they're gonna continue to hurt people every time, good people every time they meet someone, they're gonna continue to hurt good people. So how is it a good person? They may have hurt someone in the past, but a good person may have said, you know what, I need to change. I need to get myself together. You know, I can't be doing this forever. I wanna do the work to heal. I wanna do the work to heal so I can have healthy relationships, so I can have uh, healthy friendships so I can have healthy boundaries and I have to set healthy boundaries with myself as well which means that if I'm going through something I have to take to consideration and I have to be adult enough mature enough to know that hey I shouldn't be putting that person through what I've been through because I've been through it too and I don't want them to go through what I've been through right so if there's people out there that can come to these you know revelations and do the work and heal it means others have the potential to do that as well we can't always use this hurt people hurt people as an excuse because we're all adults you see what i'm saying we are all adults and we know the difference between right and wrong right talks about this in ecclesiastes as well we know the difference between right and wrong it's like and the reason why i'm even bringing this up is because this is something that a lot of us we tend to look past we tend to look past it a lot because we so badly want to believe that the friend that we have can change or the friend that we have has just been hurt so it's okay that they hurt us or the friend that we have you know they'll come around eventually or the wife or the husband or the boyfriend or the girlfriend we have they'll come around eventually or the mom and the dad they'll come around eventually there has to be limits there has to be boundaries that you have to set because you have to remember something if you are a loyal person an honest person and you know right from wrong so you know okay you know what i'm not gonna betray my friend or i'm not gonna as human beings we think about what everything we're doing even when we know it's wrong we think about it before we do it we all do do you get what I'm saying? We all do. So reiterate your heart for a second. If you know you're a good person and you're about to do something shady to someone that you love, that you know is a blessing in your life, you would think twice before doing it. You would know right away, you know what? That child's a blessing in my life. I'm not going to go out of my way to jeopardize our relationship, our mother-daughter relationship or our father-son relationship or father-mother or, or father mother or, or 
father-daughter relationship, mother-son relationship, I'm not going to jeopardize my relationship with my child because my child's a blessing. My child's anointed and not many people are blessed like this. So you know what? I appreciate the blessing that God gave me. I'm going to cherish the moments I have with my child. Same concept with a friend. Same concept with a relationship. Before any human being does anything wrong, they reiterate their actions. Let me let me give you an example. So if you go to the to the store right now, okay, and you need something in your short change, you're like, oh man, I have to buy this. I don't know, I gotta buy this Lysol wipes. I don't know, something that just, just came to mind. I gotta buy these Lysol wipes. It's three ninety nine. I only have two dollars. What what is your what's your options? Okay, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get the rest of the money. And I'm gonna come back. And let's just say the devil planted in your mind to steal it. You automatically know right away, I'm not going to steal it. I'm not going to put myself in a position to steal this because I'm one, I know it's wrong. Two, I'm going to jeopardize myself. I'm going to hurt myself because if I get caught, I'm going to get arrested. I may get a charge. I may get some sort of penalty. So I'm not going to risk that because you know what? It's not worth it. Human being, as human beings, we have knowledge about this as human beings we know the difference so it's the same concept with how people choose to treat you they know if they're if what they're doing is wrong and and oh thank you for reminding me holy spirit because i almost forgot <laughs> the point of this okay because many of you guys it's like many of you guys are sitting here and you're trying to forcefully fix something or trying to forcefully make people loyal to you, whether it's a partner, whether it's a family, whether it's a friend. It's like you're trying to forcefully let people be loyal to you. You can't force someone to be loyal to you. You can't force anyone to be loyal to you. Loyalty comes from the heart. It comes from a clean heart. Let's keep it real. Loyalty comes from a clean heart. If you are not clean in the heart, you're not going to be loyal. Because at the end of the day, you have to remember something. When God said they don't deserve you, these people know you're a blessing. They know you're a blessing. And sometimes what happens is when people don't deserve you, they mistreat you. Because they know they don't deserve you. Whether they mistreat you physically or whether they just pull away from you or whether they just cut you off or whether they just diss you, right? Ghost you, whatever it is. And what happens is instead of them being honest and straightforward and saying, you know what, I don't feel like I deserve you. I don't feel like I deserve you. You're a good person and I'm not cleaning my heart. There's things I got to work on. I'm not a loyal person. I'm not an honest person. I'm deceitful. You know, instead of them being uh, honest about that, they would prefer to mistreat you. They would prefer to diss you, prefer to ghost you and then have you thinking something is wrong with you. Have you thinking that you need to reiterate your heart? Have you thinking that you're pushing them away when you're not pushing them away? Do you see what I'm saying? They're pushing them. They're pulling themselves away. Right. And then what happens? Is it's a cycle. It happens. Many of you guys, this is why you guys went through rejection, the spirit of rejection, because it's a cycle. You get what I'm saying? It's a cycle. And instead of you guys actually you know, accept, accepting that and, and saying, you know what, I'm a good person and I don't deserve this. And if, if they want to pull away from me or if they want to remove themselves or whatever they did, that's just how it has to be. And God has to pull away all the love from my heart. Instead of some of you guys accepting that, some of you guys are forcefully trying to get people to be loyal to you. And that's something you can't force someone to clean their heart. You can't force someone to change. You can't force someone to be honest. That comes from integrity. That is something that is already within a person. And the more you try to force people to be this way for you, the more you sabotage your own healing process, the more you hold yourself back, the more you start to gaslight yourself, the more you start to blame yourself. And then you're not moving forward. If people can't be loyal to you, if they can't love you, if they can't treat you with respect and they know you're a blessing, they know you're a good person, you have to just leave them where they are. Leave them where they are. 
best believe that God is your rock and God will always bring the right friend, the right mother, the right father. Yes, there's mothers and fathers that God can bring in your life who may not be your birth mothers and fathers, but they come in and they become that leader for you. They, they, they take on that mother role, father role. If, if there's, God will bring the right friend in your life, that loyal friend that's there for you, that loyal friend you can call when you're down, that loyal friend that won't low-key hate on you, that loyal friend that won't talk behind your back. That, you get what I'm saying? God will bring that husband, that wife, that husband and wife that knows that you're a blessing, that they will not put themselves in a position to lose you because they know losing you is something they can't that they can't have it's just something they won't tolerate right so they won't even think about putting themselves in a position to lose you if you're such a blessing in people's life and they know you're a blessing and they still go out their way to sabotage something beautiful in their life these individuals they don't deserve you it's just that simple you have to remember something if people don't love themselves how can they love you how? When someone is malicious, when someone is envious, when someone is jealous, when someone is evil, when someone is cold, when someone is ghosting, when someone is ignoring, when some, whatever they, these individuals don't have any integrity. These loyal individuals don't have honesty. They don't have anything. They, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in their heart. And they self-sabotage. These individuals self-sabotage. And when you are a good person, you you don't like you don't want to self-sabotage at all. When you know your worth, when you're confident, you know your worth, you have integrity, you will not put yourself in a position to self-sabotage any type of blessing that God brings to you when it revolving other people. Because God uses others to bless others. It's like a circle. It's like the circle of life. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like God will use that person to bless you. And then you bless that person. And then that person blesses that person. That person blesses that person. And that person blesses that person. It's like that concept. Right? So if you, when you have that understanding and you are really healing and you are working on yourself, you will not put yourself in a position to sacrifice anything beautiful that God has given you or any blessing that God has given you. So when people are actually doing this and they know right from wrong and they know who you are, it's because they don't deserve you. They don't love themselves. So how are they going to love you? This is why I say you can't force people to be loyal to you. You can't force people to love you. You can't force people to be honest. If anything, they, they're going to have to do that the work themselves. You deserve that. You deserve someone who is going to, you know, respect, respect you. You deserve a friend, a husband, a wife, a, a, a family member who's going to respect you, who's going to love you, who's going to be loyal to you, and who sees your worth. Because at the end of the day, you know how you treat people. And if you treat people good, don't you think you deserve to be treated good too? Don't you think that it should be reciprocated? Everything you put out, you should receive as well. Don't you believe that? Every positive thing you put out, you receive it back, right? If you truly believe that, then stop making excuses for people and stop settling for less. And if somebody's not on the same page with you, let them be, let them fall back, let them fall behind, let them fall short. Do you see what I'm saying? Let them fall short of the blessing. Okay? So I just want to give you guys that reminder. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.